If, like me, as a child, you had an Amiga computer, then I'm sure you must have so many fun memories of playing all the different games that this system had to offer, both with your friends and your family. And perhaps, like me, you decided, hey, I want to relive some of that good old nostalgia, so you bought yourself an Amiga computer, you bought a few games, and you started playing. Well, some of these games can be 30 or 40 years old, and the floppy disks might fail. So what you want to do, as soon as you start getting these games, is to make backup copies. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hello, noble ones, and welcome to The Protectorate. This is the Metatron. So you're going to need three things. First, a program to make the copies, and we're going to use Xcopy because this is the one that I had as a kid, and it's the one I know how to use. Then you're going to have to buy a bunch of blank floppy disks, but they need to be in as good conditions as possible. So don't buy anything that says untested. Last but not least, some adhesive labels for good measure. You'll find links in the description to get all of these things completely unsponsored. Now, let's turn on my Amiga 500 and jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to use version 3.1 because that's the one I'm most familiar with. And here we are, this is where we control everything. So first of all, click on device and change into RAM. Then select 79, tools, format, and then choose the disk drive. I'm gonna use disk drive one, make sure that both yellow lamps, bulbs are on. Of course, drive zero is also fine. That will be your internal. This is drive zero. This is drive one. I'm just gonna use drive one, but you can use any. Just don't forget to specify it in the system. Then we're gonna get our blank disk. And we're gonna put it in the drive that we have selected in the program. And we're going to begin format. The system is going to ask us to give a name. So because we are making a copy of the game Legend of Kyrandia, one of my favorite point and click adventures, I'm going to call it Kyrandia 2, since I've already done the copy of the first one. Now the program is formatting the disk. I'll talk to you in a little bit. And done. So now the disk is completely formatted and it's ready to be used for copying. So now we're going to get what is called a source disk. So that is the original game that we wish to copy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on copy, DOS copy plus, then I'll take the source disk and insert it in the disk drive that I've selected in the program. In this case, drive one and click start. Right now the system is copying the disk into RAM. I'll talk to you in a little bit. There we go, so we've finished the first step and now the system is asking us to insert the target disk. That is your blank. Target is the blank, which we have formatted. And once inserted, we click start. As you can see, the symbol now is yellow. That means that it's copying from RAM onto your disk. Okay, done. So now we're going to go into step two, which is pretty much the same thing. We just need to keep copying what's left in the disk. So we put the source disk back in and click start. As you can see, it's now copying onto RAM the remaining files. Once it's complete, remove the disk and place once again your target disk, the blank, and click start. Everything is now being copied onto the disk. And you are pretty much done. The system does ask you to put the source disk again for a final check to see if there's anything else to get copied. You can do it if you want. Click start, operation complete. Okay, the next step for me is to place a label so I can recognize and remember what's on this disk. I'm gonna use a nice red label for this one because I've used a green label for disk one. Let's go. So now we're going to reset the Amiga. If you don't remember how to do that, it's Control left Amiga button, right Amiga button. And we're going to try and insert the disks we have copied today. I copied the first one right before here. So we're gonna put the first one on drive zero because of course the system has to boot from drive zero. And let's see if it works. Okay, so the disk one was loaded correctly. Now it's asking me for disk two. I'm gonna insert it in drive one so I can keep disk one in drive zero. And let's see if it works. And as you can see, everything works perfectly. And what a lovely game this is. Look at those graphics.
right, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a fun trip down memory lane. Let me know what Amiga machine you had as a kid and if you are back into the collecting community once again. Please consider subscribing and joining the Protectorate. Bye.